All right, nine west Clearview. So did some great coordination with Tom on getting me in here. So I appreciate that. He's with Remax. I'll tell you what, let me pivot and show you the street so you can see. So easy access down there. A lot of different home styles here. And uh, Drew should be inside. So we'll see. We have the garage out back here. Nice, and the bump out. So you got a lot of space fenced in. We'll get you inside because we don't want to hold up the homeowner. Yeah, they're actually doing us a favor. And we'll go from there. So painted the concrete. Looks like you have a frost-free hose set up there. We got brick. And let's see. Drew? Hey, still good to come in? Yeah, you're good. Hey, I'm Matt. I'm going right, to take off right. my shoes. Thank you. Sorry, clients couldn't make it, so I no shared the video. Um, so I apologize for you know being here and having the cats in the house. Thank you for apologizing. Some people don't know that can be a problem yeah. sometimes. <laughs> but we work together. And Tom called me, so we're And I just got off the phone with him, too. Yep, so. so anything that I wouldn't see. I'm fairly good at this. But anything you want to point out while you're here? No, uh, the house nope. is yours. The only thing I was going to say was, yeah, hey, you got the money, <laughs> right? whatever, man. Um, so the only thing is, I put the cats down in the basement so they kind of be out of your way. It's okay. So um, when I go down there, be careful. Yeah, and okay. just watch out for the orange one if you're going to be in and, and out. And full disclosure, I tell Tom, I share this, so they see it. Everything's out there, so I'll keep it PJ. Okay. All right, sounds great. Thank you, sir. I'll be right out here if you this need is it. How real estate should be. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So great person. So let's go through this. So I'm gonna pivot and show you, so hardwood floors, fireplace, and let's get our bearings, because we were talking as soon as we came in. Here's your front door. This is gonna be a mini coat closet, I will say. That takes you upstairs. So a little step up, baseboard heating and tiled. So this is all opened and goes, wow, this is nice. Really nice. Because I'm taking it in now. You got a lot of cabinets. So that is great. So a lot of cabinets. Somewhat newer. Windows are also somewhat newer. Check the disclosure for you. They are double class vinyl. We have some recessed lighting here, a ceiling fan. Well, let's just see. They're nice cabinets. Nice uh, cabinet poles too. So white appliances, gas cooking, microwave there. We have the trim up the top, dishwasher, vent. Okay, just piecing this together. All right, cool. So there we are. Here is a full bath. Nice. So it goes all the way back, and this is a shower. Oh, very nice. So what I'm what I'm feeling right now is possible one floor living. But we have a shower, so that's great. This is more of the living room. And then this would be the first floor bedroom. And this is a, a breakdown. So I don't know if you want to call this one or two, uh, but this is the bump out that I pointed. So this is definitely one bedroom, could be two. A little interesting when you walk through one bedroom to get to another. There's the garage. And let's, you know what, let's just peek out the window because it is starting to rain again. So pretty deep backyard. You see it's fenced in. There's another shed there to the right. Nice, beautiful tree too. All right, lots of windows here. I'm gonna pivot. Ceiling fan here. Wow, okay. And is this a pocket door? It is a pocket door. And this is more of a pantry. Now I have seen similar models turn this into the laundry room. So just a thought, if you're looking for that, cool. All right, hardwood floors again, uh, you know, one slash two bedrooms we see right now. So the main takeaway for me is essentially you can live on this first floor since you have the shower. So if steps ever become an issue or you just don't want to do it, guess what? You don't have to. So let's uh, take a little peek here. I'll we'll close it appropriately. So wood burning for sure. And there we go. Definitely looks like they use that, which is good. Um, some, some scare me when they haven't used it in 20 years and you find out the flu has issues, the liner, uh, you never know. All right, baseboard heating. So I believe we covered the whole first floor. Let's venture up before we do the basement and uh, we'll get the bedroom count for you too as we go. So I'm gonna call this officially bedroom number two. That's a king bed. By the way, bedroom number two, two closets here. We're in the dormer section. We'll pivot so you get a full sense ceiling fan as well. They're probably original doors, I'm guessing, I think. And again, a combination here because this goes, it's a tough one. Does it wrap all the way around? Oh, this is crazy. This 
automatic door. I don't know what's going on. Cool. Huh. I closed something in. I mean, this was exterior. So they closed something in and reconfigured it. But that's a big closet. Okay. So I'm still going to count this as, let's say we're up to three bedrooms. <laughs> Again, you can use the space as you see fit or anyone who buys this. Uh, but this is a cool little space. So let's just say three bedrooms because you really have one you can walk through downstairs. So we could be up to four with that, but let's say three and this is four. So I'm gonna call this a four bedroom. Again, you can see some of this is, is flexible. There's that one car garage, plenty of parking too, which I don't believe I had enough time to say when I walked up here. And another room with cool dimensions. So closet and closet. Wow, got a lot of space. Very, very nice. I'll pivot and pull you back. Ceiling fan in here as well. Uh, vinyl windows. It's gonna be access panel. And this is going to be just an upstairs closet. All right, I'm gonna turn this on and pull it out so you can see. All right, there's the bathroom. Nice shelf there. And tile work. All right, probably the original tub is my guess. But of course, everything I say here is just my opinion. <laughs> Do your own due diligence and uh, check the disclosure. I'm just here to help. So uh, basically a four bedroom, the way I'm gonna classify it. You could sneak by and say it's five with the space we have down here, if you recall, going through there. So that's a bonus room in the back. Crown molding in here too. Yeah, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's uh, say hi to the kitty cats. Make sure they're not at the top of the door. Hello, hello. Ah, beep, beep. I think we want to stay down here. I know you're friendly. Come on down, come on. Oh my, hey, come on. All right, they are friendly. Two gas meters. I have questions right away, but we have two gas meters. Okay. Hello, Ooh, I don't want to step on you, kitty. Um, there's your water. Looks like it was updated. It goes right into that. Looks like a water softener. So block construction will take you around your laundries here. You have a true walkout. Come on, kitties. Uh, let's see if we have a light, because that looks somewhat newer. Looks like it was put in by Horizon or service. Again, check the disclosure. Come on. Wow. Water heater's right here. It is gas fed. It is a ream. Um, let's see. I might be able to pull a light, but I always just turn on my other phone just in case. All right, so that looks newer. Expansion tank. And that, this is National HVAC Manufacturing Company made in the USA. That's a gas boiler. It boils the water, heats you up. And this is for your AC. So we do have lights, but so this is for your AC. I don't think I saw the unit outside, but this is a Lennox. So that is pretty much top of the line. Again, do your own independent research. Looks like Horizon either put it in our services. It got a gym down here and we have guessing 200 amps. Yep, 200 amp panel, plenty of room to expand, which is good. I'll close that and your laundry's down here. Here's your main drain, cast iron. Check up on that. Uh, per my inspectors, typically it has an 80 year life, but you know, that's just an estimate. So you can walk out here. All right, cool. Bonus fridge here, I don't know if it stays. Like most North Wilmington homes, you have a, a floor drain. But these ceilings are high enough, in my opinion, if you wanted to finish this space. Again, check with Newcastle County. Uh, hey, Kitty. Hi. You're friendly. Hi. 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 Hey, you're a little one. I gotta go upstairs, okay? Okay? All right, you're not sneaking out, okay? Do we, ah, you look like you're trying to sneak. Eh, eh. Down, please, down. Down, 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 boop, 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 boop. No, no, beep, 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 beep. No, 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 I see you, I see you. Nope, hey, good cats, all right. All right, it's on Kitty Patrol. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna back out, and I think we covered everything. I'm gonna leave you right there.